I voted for Joel Embiid as the MVP, of course, for the regular season. But Nikola mm -hmm. Jokic is the best player on the planet right now. He's the best. He's unstoppable. Nikola Jokic is the best center in the universe. Mm. He's not. If you, you, if, if, if you walk around, you if you stand today. upright, and you can dribble a basketball, and you play the center position, yeah. can't nobody see Yoke right now. Mm. Can't nobody see him, not even with the Hubble telescope. Mm. And you can see on Jupiter with the Hubble telescope. I think it's probably the most impressive the Nuggets have looked since the All-Star break. I can't testify to every single moment of every single game, but from start to finish against a team that had been 12-1 and one with Durant and Booker, um, and still actually shot the ball extremely well. Uh, very impressive performance um, from the Nuggets and reminded everybody about mm -hmm. why they had the number one seed after five months of play. After consecutive years of playoff meltdowns, it looks like Nikola Jokic, aka the Joker, and the rest of the Denver Nuggets are ready to take over with the way they've dominated the regular season, as well as crushing legit tough teams like the Timberwolves and the Suns in these playoffs, as if they're just high school varsity teams. With the way their stock is trending right now, the reinvigorated Nuggets squad are ready for the kill as they look really packed from top to bottom. I mean, there are six Nuggets players who are averaging double digits in scoring in the playoffs right now. And on top of this, they were just completely dominant on both offense and defense in the Wolves and Suns series, as they have one of the highest offensive ratings among all the teams in the playoffs right now, with 118.7 points per game. And at the same time, they're also limiting their opponents to just 110 points a ball game on average. This current iteration of the Nuggets is definitely far from the Nuggets that we saw choking in the previous playoffs year after year. I mean, even though they didn't completely overhaul their lineup, it seems like they've already figured things out this season. Beyond their depth and incredible intensity on both ends of the floor, the other reason why they're thriving right now is because of their solid chemistry, which they've built over the years due to disappointing early exits in the last couple of playoffs, as well as the injuries that they've weathered. I mean, if you remember a couple of seasons ago, Jamal Murray went down with a devastating ACL injury. Michael Porter Jr. had back issues as well, and they've also moved a lot of pieces to upgrade their roster. Despite these, the Nuggets were able to navigate through it all, and now it seems like the challenges that they went through over the years has only made them better as a team, which is pretty evident with their performance in this year's playoffs. Anyways, this Nuggets ship would not sail as efficiently as it is right now without their captain, who's directed them to the right course. Nikola Jokic is the anchor of this Nuggets squad, and in these playoffs, the Joker is just an absolute beast. The two-time MVP has been flirting with a triple-double in this postseason, averaging 30.7 points, 12.8 rebounds, and 9.7 assists, while shooting 54.9% from the field and 47.5% from the three-point line. Without question, the entire Nuggets offense basically revolves around Jokic, and in the following plays, let's take a look at how he's made the lives of his teammates much easier with his incredible playmaking. I mean, here's Jokic taking his time patiently at the elbow. Now, as he was surveying the floor, he noticed that Conley was sagging too far, and so, without any warning, he threw a no-look skip pass at the corner man, and KCP did the rest by splashing it right through. Within split seconds, Jokic can find the open guy with his eagle-eyed vision, and in this side split action, the Joker once again threw a nice inside pass to the cutting MPJ for an easy bucket. Now, aside from making the right plays, acting as a hub in their half-court sets, there are some instances where Nikola Jokic creates plays for them coming off the dribble or on the run. See, Jokic assumed the role of a point guard and engaged in a two-man game with Gordon right here. And after recognizing that Gordon was free on the roll, Jokic delivered a nice alley-oop pass on top to finish up this eye-in-the-sky play. Now, here's Jokic sliding inside with a backdoor cut. 
As soon as he saw two white shirts collapsing on him, the moment he received the ball, he quickly fends it off to KCP with a two-hand touch pass, much to the surprise of the T-Wolves defense. And lastly, Jokic can also ignite fast break attacks as he can push the ball coming off a rebound and just look at how he locates KCP with this amazing bounce pass in transition. If you take a good look at the numbers, you can see that almost half of the Nuggets total passes made in this playoffs came from the hands of the Joker alone, and this only indicates that the Nuggets offense would not be as efficient as it is right now without Jokic running the show. Anyways, aside from creating havoc as a facilitator, Jokic is also punishing teams in these playoffs with his ability to dominate on the offensive end. In the last 11 games, Jokic has been averaging 30.7 points a ball game while destroying the opposition using his deep offensive bag, coming from every angle imaginable. I mean, here's Jokic attacking the lane while Gobert was waiting for him. Now, knowing his reputation as a great passer, Gobert thought that Jokic was going to pass the ball to Gordon. However, Jokic pivoted the other way around and finished this one with a soft floater off the glass. And in this possession, look at how Jokic toyed Gobert using his smooth footwork before dropping the fade on his grill. Now, if that kind of shot didn't work, Jokic can just straight up bully ball his way inside the paint to get the easy two points. And what I also love about Jokic's game is that he can also put his head down and attack coming from the outside, just like what he did here against Landale. And because of his massive size, Jokic can just simply throw his weight around in the shaded line and grab offensive boards all day, since no one can box him out. Based on his performance in the first two rounds, it seems like there's no living man that can stop Jokic from dominating. And after defeating the Suns in six games, Kevin Durant even went on to say this about Nikola Jokic's greatness. Not surprised that these guys are good, especially somebody like Jokic. I've been watching playing against him for a minute now since he hit his peak as a player. So no, I wouldn't say I learned anything new. Great team, deep team, multiple guys that uh, play well together, great continuity, been together for what, how long Mike Malone been there? Six years. That's, 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 you know, that's a good advantage to have. You know, when you know your coach, you know the players on the team, you got a system in place for that long. So no, I wasn't surprised at all. Jokic is an all-time great gonna go down as one of the all-time great centers to ever touch a basketball so he went out there and did what he's supposed to do as much as a lot of people are rooting for the lakers in the next round i really believe that it's not going to be a walk in the park for them with Jokic in charge of the nuggets as we've seen in the last 11 games he was just completely unstoppable and even the three-time defensive player of the year rudy gobert wasn't able to do anything to at least slow the joker down even one bit if Anthony Davis and the rest of the Lakers' big men won't be able to cut the head of the snake, there's no doubt that Jokic and the Nuggets are going to dominate them with their size, versatility, and depth. And if Jokic continues to play like he did in the first two rounds, we finally might be seeing the Denver Nuggets re-enter the NBA Finals after 47 long years, at the expense of the heavy-favorited Los Angeles Lakers.